The Druid is probably the single most requested feature in DDO for the last six years. Players have been longing for the Druid for as long as DDO has been out, even more than they've been asking for a move to Forgotten Realms that asked for the Druid. The hard part was getting ready for it, so we were careful not to announce it too early before we knew we'd get it right. Uh, the Druid is a really popular class of players, especially from players who've played the tabletop game, because the Druid has a deep connection with nature and has shape-changing powers, and it's very exotic. So when players play a Druid in DDO, we're wanting to try to capture a lot of that. It's not just going to be, well, I suddenly look like a different creature. You're going to feel like the creature. When you're in as a Druid, if you're sneaking around, your wolf's going to put his ears down and creep along the ground, or if you could be jumping, your wolf is going to jump and have a tail flapping, or if he swims, he's going to get a nice dog paddle. So the idea is when you transform, you're not just looking different, you feel different when you play the Druid. A druid is a, a jack of all trades in some ways. They're capable of doing many different, uh, filling many different party roles, uh, but not necessarily all of them at the same time. They'll have to specialize to, to decide whether they are primarily a melee DPS uh, type of character in a wolf form, or they want to be a tank uh, in a bear form, or some sort of a caster, either a healer or offensive caster in one of the elemental forms or even their basic uh, humanoid form. The number of the different abilities that they have access to vary greatly based on uh, which form they're in. So the form selection is one of the biggest uh, things that will change how you're playing the druid. Based on the enhancements that you take and what spells you have slotted, uh, you'll be able to change some of your focus in the middle of a dungeon at a rest, rest point, but not necessarily your whole character's direction. Historically in Eberron, the gatekeepers are the main druidic faction. They were responsible for stopping a couple of major invasions from extraplanar armies. So when portals from alien planes open up, the gatekeepers come on the scene and they figure out how to close the portal. This is very important for the storyline of the expansion pack because Loth herself, she's opened up a portal from her plane of the demon web to try to attack Eberron. And you know the ape gatekeepers come onto the scene. And they bring their their druidic knowledge and druidic forces. And uh, the player uh, players who choose to play as druids are an expression of that. They would be aligned with the gatekeepers. We had to create the shape shifting technology, the pet system for them, and a whole new magic system for them, which is a pretty big undertaking. And uh, ultimately, the stars aligned, and and players will see a lot of druids coming to DDO starting this summer.